Hi guys! Last year I made a lawn mover that had certain flaws. In this video I will show an updated version with interesting solutions. The changes will be both in design and appearance. 3D printing will also be used. You will see my own innovation. Let's get started. I took a more powerful motor from an old washing machine. These are the characteristics. 480 watts. Before installing the engine it is necessary to remove the pulley. I didn't have a special puller, so I used an engraver. Just sewed the pulley on both sides, and it broke into two parts. This motor has a ledge, a place for which you need to provide at the base of the lawn mover. The hole is most convenient to make a hole saw, or increase to the required diameter by engraver. I mark the places for drilling holes. I use a 14 mm feather drill. Front decided to consolidate the motor with the help anchor bolt with hook. 6 mm. Proceed to install the electric motor. I am going to mount on the bolts 14 mm. Put the washer and grover. Then tighten the nut. The hook should cling to the protruding part of the motor housing. On the other side, put the washer, grover and nut. To control the speed of the motor, I will use such a regulator. It holds a set number of revolutions regardless of the load applied to the shaft. Before use, many recommend to disassemble the controller and check the presence of a radiator on the triac. The radiator is available, but there is no thermal paste. We need to fix this. Thermal paste will provide good contact between the elements and thus improve heat dissipation. Apply a thin layer on the radiator or on the triac. It's done. On the side is a potentiometer with which you can adjust the maximum speed of the motor. If you turn clockwise, the speed increases. If counterclockwise, then degrees. I set it to maximum. In the handle of the lone mover, I made a special place with the cut to install the controller. Now the control handle with a square section for reliable fixation is fixed on several screws. Otherwise, over time, becomes loose. To make it easier to control both hands, I used the handles of the hand size. The motor terminal connector looks like this. Wiring diagram of the electric motor to the 220 volt network. One of the rotor brushes is connected by a jumper to one of the stator windings. Contacts from the other brush and the other windings go to networks 220 volts. The tachometer in this case is not used and the engine will run at maximum speed. This diagram shows the connection of the electric motor to the speed controller. The red wire is the main. Green and white are the contacts of the starting capacitor. A touch -a sensor is connected to the two blue wires to control the engine speed. The yellow wire is ground. 
One wire from the motor is connected to the red wire, and the other to the green or white, depending on the location of the jumper. In this case, it is connected to a green wire. This is contact CW. To change the direction of rotation of the engine, for example, you need to swap the wires going to the brushes. When using an synchronous motor, the direction of rotation can be changed by a jumper. Com CW rotation one way, Com CCW rotation the other way. To connect such a motor, all three wires are used, red, green and white. Connect the power cable. The ground wire in my case will not be used. Since the voltage is variable, it makes no difference how to connect the wires. Fasten all wires with plastic clamps. I solder the wires running from the motor to the connector of the speed controller, insulate it with heat shrink. Before fixing the wires on the handle, it is necessary to insulate all contacts with duct tape or heat shrink. Next, I'll make the side walls. Now they will be made of thin plywood. Side wall ready. I will fix it with the help of a construction stapler. To protect the engine, instead of plastic bottles, I will use linoleum. Measure and cut. I fix it with a stapler, but only to the base. Looks like a hood, protects the engine and facilitates maintenance of the device. Carefully fix all the wires with ties. To fix the casing in the closed position, I will use the clasp from the old bag. Looking ahead, I will say that over time, this lock begins to weaken. It needs to be fixed on glue or use something else. I used a clamp. Now the lock clings to it. On the other side made a folding curtain of linoleum with velcro. You can also use magnets or something else. I modeled and printed this thing. Initial version. This is protection for the motor bearing. The idea is to protect against the ingress of grass. I've already drilled holes. And now I'll fix it with screws. 
For mounting the mover head I am going to use this spindle adapter. There are several sizes for different shaft diameters. The shaft diameter of this motor is 9 mm. Such adapters not found, so ordered on 10 mm. But time come on 12 mm. To connect the shaft to the adapter I modeled a special sleeve. Such detail from ABS quickly goes from by building. If you print nylon the item will work much longer. Eventually I found a sheet of metal of desired thickness and gave it the shape of a circle. Then drilled two holes. Look like this. This adapter works for me until now. Of course it is better to immediately use a spindle adapter of a suitable size. I insert the sleeve and fix the adapter on the motor shaft. Last year I used this homemade moving head made of laminate. Now I decided to make another on a 3D printer. This is the very first version of the trimmer head. Next will be much more interesting. On the other hand a special place for the adapter is made. This eliminates unscrewing the nut during operation. There is also a place for a key. Move for a long time did not work, as the grass quickly wound on the shaft. Getting her out is very difficult and long. Of course, this did not suit me, and I decided to come up with something better. First I made an adapter with a nut, and then I started to create a 3D model of the trimming head. The main tasks were to create a system of anti-winding grass and fixing the trimming line. But I will tell you about it in the next part. Perhaps on today all. If you don't like the video, don't put likes, don't write comments and don't subscribe to the channel. But next there will be a lot of interesting things. Good luck. Bye.